Morning, Steve Green in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Uh, markets are higher overnight, led by the beans and meal. Again, there was a chance for some rain in Argentina, maybe six uh, to seven days from now, the match took the rain chance out of the forecast. So now you've got people even lowering further their estimates of the Argentina corn and soybean crop. Uh, no one knows for sure what the final numbers are going to be, but the uh, basis levels in South America are firming up. Keeps our corn cheaper as far as origin for buyers in the world and raises uh, our anticipation of a higher um, crush here to satisfy more meal export demand. Crush weights made warm margins made new highs yesterday um, as the meal prices moved up. Uh, so, you know, yesterday sold off a little bit. Uh, in Washington, there was a meeting about uh, RENs. Um, There's some talk about how uh, one senator wants to limit the value of the RENs. Um, there's other talks about maybe establishing some kind of credit that allows E15 to offset any changes in the in REN credits. But all those things are kind of hovering over the soybean oil market, along with the fact that we have to raise our crush to satisfy meal demand, which adds to the oil stocks. Corn market <clears throat> continues to inch higher. It's a debate and, and a battle between better demand and maybe lower crops next year here in the U.S. and globally uh, versus the fact that farmer has a lot of corn uh, to sell above the market. Wheat market also rallied, um, making some highs for the move in Kansas City. And again, dryness persists in this western part of the Southern Plains, and it doesn't look like they have a lot of moisture forecasted in the future. Corn and bean traders are also taking note that it's dry in the western part of the Midwest, and that um, you, you may start seeing a little bit of premium put in the corn and bean market if that dryness continues into the spring. Funds adding to their beans and meal long. <clears throat> they are adding to their small corn long. Still holding on to a big short in Chicago wheat. So we'll see if they want to cover that. Um, we, we do have on March 8th, the USDA supply and demand. We'll see how much they want to change as far as uh, the U.S. demand is concerned, as far as the South American crops are concerned. And I think the key to that report is what they do with the South American crop numbers. They continue to be probably conservative in March, hoping that uh, somebody gets a rain, but we'll see what they say. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services, and have a safe and profitable trading day.